So let's work together. We found Rachel. Who is she? Jennifer Wilson's only daughter. A daughter? Why would she write her daughter's name? Why? Never mind that. We found the case. According to someone, the murderer has the case, and we found it in the hands of our favorite psychopath. I'm not a psychopath, Anderson. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. Do your research. You need to bring Rachel in. You need to question her. I need to question her. She's dead. Excellent. How am I? Is there a connection? There has to be. Well, I doubt it, since he's been dead for 14 years. Technically, she was never alive. Rachel was Jennifer Wilson's stillborn daughter 14 years ago. Oh, that's... That's not right. How... Why would she do that? Why? Why would she think of her daughter in her last moments? Yup, sociopath. Seeing it now. She didn't think about her daughter. She scratched her name on the floor with her fingernails. She was dying. It took effort. It would have hurt. You said that the victims all took the poison themselves, that he makes them take it. Well, maybe he, I don't know, talks to them? Maybe he, he used the death of her daughter somehow? Yeah, but that was ages ago. Why would she still be upset? Not good? A bit not good, yeah. Yeah, but if you were dying, if you'd been murdered in your very last few seconds, what would you say? Please, God, let me live. Well, use your imagination. I don't have to. Yeah, but if you were clever, really clever, Jennifer Wilson running all those lovers, she was clever. She's trying to tell us something. Isn't the doorbell working? Your taxi's here, oh, Shirley. Order a taxi, go away. Oh, dear, they're making such a mess. What are they looking for? It's a drugs bust, Mrs. Hudson. But they're just for my hip. The herbal soothers. Shut up, everybody! Shut up! Don't move, don't speak, don't breathe. I'm trying to think. Anderson, face the other way. You're putting me off. What? My face is. Everybody quiet and still. Anderson, turn your back. Oh, for God's sake. Get back now, please. Come on, think quick. What about your taxi? Mrs. Hudson! Oh. Oh. She was clever, clever. Yes. She's clever. Then you lot, and she's dead. Do you see? Do you get it? She didn't lose her phone. She never lost it. She planted it on him. When she got out of the car, she knew that she was going to her death. She left the phone in order to lead us to her killer. But how? What, what do you mean, how? Uh, Rachel! Did you see? Rachel! Look at you lot, you're all so vacant. Is it nice not being me? It must be so relaxing. Rachel is not a name. Then what is it? John, on the luggage there's a label. Email address. Uh, Jenny.pink at mephone.org.uk. Oh, I've been too slow. She didn't have a laptop, which means she did her business on her phone. So it's a smartphone, it's email enabled. So there was a website for her account. The username is her email address, and all together now the password is... Rachel. So we can read her emails, so what? Anderson, don't talk out loud. You lower the IQ of the whole street. We can do much more than just read her emails. It's a smartphone, it's got GPS. Which means if you lose it, you can locate it online. She's leading us directly to the man who killed her. Unless he got rid of her. We know he didn't. Come on, come on, quickly! Sherlock, dear, this taxi driver... Oh, Mrs Hudson, isn't it time for your evening soother? We need to get vehicles, get a helicopter. We're going to have to move fast. This phone battery won't last forever. But we'll just have a map reference, not a map. To start? Sherlock? No, is it time for just anyone in London? It's the first proper lead that we've had. Sherlock? Where is it? Quickly, where? It's here, it's...